Hello everybody, Blitzstorm here. So today for Unity, we will kind of get a look into animations, how to do common animations. I'm not going to go too in-depth with it. But basically, if you guys have a racing game and you are doing loops, and it's kind of like Mario Kart or Crash Bandicoot racing, and you have those boxes that rotate on one spot and float in the air, we can do something like that. Also, if you're doing like a platform, a 2D platform, or maybe a 3D platform, and there is a floating platform between two cliffs, and it goes back and forth, animations like that we'll look into. Also, for speed boosts, like in, I'm not sure if Mario Kart had it, but some racing games had those arrows on the ground that when you went over them, you'd get a boost. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do those animations today. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and create a cube. And I'm just going to uh, scale this down a little bit. Let's uh, just scale this to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And let's just call that good enough. So this will be a floating box that we will be doing. So we're just going to leave it in the air here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually attach a animation to it. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can do it up in the uh, components or you can actually just hit add component here. Miscellaneous maybe? Animation, yeah. So there's going to be an animation. Let's add that. Now, as you can see, there's no animation clip. So we will actually make that. Now, how we're going to make an animation is by going to, uh, we need to open up the animation window. So that would be this window right here. I'm actually going to drag and drop it on the bottom here. You can put it wherever you want. So Unity has a pretty good animation program in it. It's pretty much like 3D Studio Max's animation. You set a key point at the beginning, and then you can actually set one in the center and then set one at the end or just set one at the end, and it will actually mimic whatever you do. So if you actually rotate this on the axle here, it will actually record that and put that as the animation into the clip. You pretty much drag and drop the clip in there. And to make it spin at different speeds, you can actually just uh, adjust the timer here. Uh, so I actually prefer using Unity animation instead of 3D Studio Max. It depends actually what I'm doing, but basically, Sometimes when you export animations out of 3D Studio Max, they get a bit mixed up and then you kind of have to redo them in Unity. So I just do them in Unity if I can. If it's a humanoid model, then that's a totally different story. But if it's something common like this or a platform or something, it's just easier to do it in Unity. So it says to begin animate in Cube create an animation clip so we're going to create it now it tells you right here cube so that's what we're going to be animation now here's where you can call it whatever you want let's just call it uh, power up oops so here's what i was talking about about the keyframes and the timer so depend on how fast you want this to spin you just make it less of uh, seconds per rotation, more seconds per rotation for longer. You got your record button, you got your play button, you got your uh, go to previous keyframe, go to the next keyframe, and you've got your add keyframe and then add event. So we're going to start with the box like this. Now we want to rotate just in a circle and float there. Now you can actually do more than one. You can actually make it bob up and down as it's spinning. So we're at zero. We want this to go a whole 360 degrees and end up back at the beginning. 
I'm going to uh, start here and I'm just going to grab it and I'm going to spin it to I'm going to say 15 So we're going to be using the y-axis. Okay, so I'm just going to undo that and use it up here. So 15 up here. And there we go. So we will be using the y. That's what I want to kind of figure out. So now we have our first mark. These are the keyframes. It's telling you cube rotation. So how fast do we want this to spin? Um, these are in seconds. Now these are in minutes, I believe, or is this seconds? I think it's minutes, now 10 seconds, one minute. I might be wrong. It might be a second or it might be a minute. Well, let's find out. Let's just go here. So we're at 15. So now we want to go 300 degrees. So let's go 360. Degrees. What that was is it spun it all the way around. So now if you actually wanted to, you can actually hit play and there's the power up. See how it's rotating? Now, like I said, if you wanted to actually go slower, you had to add it way up here and it will actually go slower. So basically the power up, if it was a rocket and then you had pictures of the rockets at the side, or if it was a coin, you can actually put uh, gold coins in there like a uh, Sonic, like in Sonic there, whatever, whatever you wanted. And that's a, uh, Basically it for that. Now let's slow it down a bit. So I'm going to actually uh, stop that so I hit the play button again. You can actually grab the keyframe that you want. So say I want it double as long. I'm just going to actually bring it there. And now it's slower than what it was. But uh, you see that little thing right there? There's a little glitch. So that's that's pretty easy to fix. And as you can see up here it is spinning. Uh, go here and just edit this one. I'm going to put it at zero. And now let's uh, let's try that. See, and there we go. So zero works good. Uh, sometimes when I was working with windmills and stuff like that, I would actually have to set it back. I think that's because I imported the animation also from 3D Studio Max. But there, so we're starting at zero. We're going 360 degrees around. So if this was a power up, now if you want, you can actually add another animation and add it bobbing up and down a bit. So let's go ahead and get this to be on a loop. So now for that, uh, let's see, where would it be? I wonder, um, all scripts, all prefabs, all models, all materials, no. Um, So I don't know if I can do it in here. I if I can click. Um, okay, yeah. So if you clicked on the uh, power up animation, you can actually get into here. Normally, uh, how I did it is I actually would find the file and then double click on it. Either or will work. So all you do is you click loop. So it's on default, which is just spin once around and stop, which is pretty much once. Loop is it will continuously go in a circle. Ping pong is it will go around once and then go back around the other way. And we will be getting into that when we do the platform here. So let's go ahead and hit loop. Cube. Let's click on cube. Oh, uh, play automatically at start. For some reason, I got unclicked. So I'm just going to uh, click that. So there we go. We got our power up. Let me get a better angle. We got our power up spinning. You can create a new animation or you can actually do it in here in the same file. And that's what we're also going to be doing. So this line, as you can see, will say rotate cube that way. Now we want to actually move it as we do it. So we're actually going to uh, keep it. Now how far do we want to move it up? Uh, maybe half half of what it is. All right, so let's bring it up, and I think it will be the uh, Z. I 
think. Uh, no, it would be the Y, sorry. So the Y, so we don't want rotation, we want position this time. Uh, we want to also bring it up to the, uh, actually, yeah, yeah, let's bring it up to the, uh, well, let's see. We want to start at zero. So let's start at zero. But halfway through the spin is where we want up. So halfway will basically be one. Uh, this is, should actually be here. And I'm actually going to actually move that there. So now it's two. OK, so one is halfway. So halfway up from the position will be, so it's 978, 978, uh, 1.5 would be way too much, 1.2. Let's try 1.2978. And then going over the hair would be 9. Seven eight point nine seven eight. What do we got here now? So there you go. You got the bouncing up and down and the spinning at the same time. And there you go. You got a power up. So if I actually go like that and actually stop this, undo record, hit play, move the camera around, and you got the bounce and the thing. Now if you want to, you can actually make it bounce as high as you want to. You can make it spin as fast as you want to. But uh, yeah, so that's how to do the create. So now let's do a platform.